What's up guys, Ryan from UCH Outdoors. Just got to the boat launch, looking to do some ice fishing today. Got a couple people out, so hopefully we can find a spot and make our way out there. I'm um, just gonna unload the truck and start trekking out, checking the ice, make sure it's all safe on the way out. Hopefully we can get to our spot. All right guys, right now we're getting this done. I'm setting up the tip ups. Gibby's cleaning out the holes and Andy's going out and drilling, getting our good spread out and then we're going to get going. What are we doing there, Ryan? Uh, we're just making sure we got the hole cover on, clean out the hole a little bit more so that way we don't let so much sun in. It makes a bright spot for when all the northern come in and they see a little less obvious. How much ice do we have down there today? Got about three and a half right now. What I can tell, just measured it earlier over there. It seems a little bit of a similar depth here. We're looking to put these about a foot under the ice when the northern come by. That's what we're fishing for. Same depth there. We got our little buttons on here to set the depth so that way when we get any tip ups, then we'll be able to reset it to the correct depth. I see we have a hole cover over there. Yeah, we'll put that on after. Go. Sounds good. Got the first flag of the day. First flag of the day, first fish of the day. All right, nice job, Ryan. Nice. Oh, there he is. Little bad boy, around the corner of the mouth. Nice spot. All right, then. All right. Folks, I'm alive here. Make sure. There you go. First catch of the day. All right. He'll live to fight another day. All right, so we're going out to the this flag here. This is the one we got fish on last time. Hopefully it'll take it. It's straight down. That probably means I can see the button. So I don't think it I think it was a drop. That's the one advantage of having the button, at least you can tell, or a line marker of some sort, you can tell what way, you know, whether the fish is still on there or if it dropped. So we'll, get, we'll just kind of take a look at it. You never know, it could be a bass. Yeah, it's a drop, I can see him down there. <laughs> All right, well, got another flag. Gibby's gonna take this one. Just finished putting back the other one that we just got. Spin it. Oh, 
Oh, here he comes. Oh, he's coming. He's coming. Gotta get his head out. There you go. Nice job, Gibby. All right, Gibby, what do you got there? Nice big old big boy. <laughs> Gotta hold him sideways, though. There you go. That's the way to hold him. Right? Nice northern pike. All right? So you're gonna release him? Yes, sir. Let him. That's a pretty good release there, man. That's a professional one there. He's ready to go. All right. Nice job. All right, Gibby's on the board. Got another flag up. Saw it spin earlier. On. Oh, there it is. Little snake. We'll take it though. There we go. We'll take it. Alright, let's see oh, if yeah. we can do a better release than Gibby though. <laughs> there you go. Catch and release. Oh, he's coming. It's a nice one. I see him. He's coming up. Took another run. There he is down there. I get his head turned. Come on, baby. There we go. There we go. There it is. All right, there we go. How about sideways there? What do we got here? There we go. Nice Another northern. Big o, according to Gibby. That's a big one there, Gibby. Put it back in. Uh, he's gone. There you go. Nice job. Another flag. Gibby's up here. Time for redemption. He's running. Just let him. Just... Fish on. Took some line out. There he is. Hooks him up. There we go. Big O. All right, all right. Absolute slob. Look at that Slavosaurus, thing. Slobosaurus, dude. Woo! <laughs> That's what we're going for. Back in. Ready to go. All right, guys, welcome back, ECH Outdoors. Uh, today, we're gonna do more ice fishing. Uh, you guys saw Ryan and Zach go out um, the day before. They did pretty well. We're gonna be going to the same lake. Um, 
The reason we're gonna be doing that is we know this lake really well. We've been fishing it since we've been in elementary school and we really wanna get out on the lake and try it out. Um, I'm just pulling up to the boat launch here and it seems like we got a couple people, not too many. Looks like everybody else is already kinda of out on the ice now. Um, we would like to get out there and get set up. We got a good enough, uh, good ice, uh, real nice, strong, clear ice. Um, and tonight we have a big storm coming. So we're gonna call this Operation Beat the Storm uh, because we have about eight, anywhere from four to eight inches apparently are coming our way. So it'd be nice to uh, get out there and get some fish. We got a high pressure system right now. So I'm hoping that lets the fish bite. And I'm also hoping that um, this front moving in is going to help help push these fish to, to bite since uh, it's going to be a little stormy. So right now I was only able to pick up a dozen large suckers. Suckers normally don't work too well on this lake but we're going to try it out anyways. Uh, other buddy Nate, he's going to go out to another bait shop that's a little bit farther away but hoping that they're going to have some shiners. Uh, the lady at the bait shop today said she sold, sold out of her all of her stock of shiners and chubs in a matter of a couple of days um so she really hasn't had much fish so really all she had left was some uh some suckers so we're going to try those out today and the weather is is pretty cold right now we're sitting at a frosty 12 degrees with a good wind chill here so it's a little chilly but we're going to pop the shack up get everything set up get some holes drilled and we're going to see how this goes i'm hoping the suckers do okay uh, especially since it's a little cold, um, they might be a little lethargic and not move as well. Uh, I, I've used suckers on different lakes where it's a little bit deeper. This this lake is real shallow. There's an upper part that's pretty deep, but there's a lot of the fish don't sit in the upper part. They sit in the lower part of it. And panfish are good up on the upper part of it, but not on the lower part. So we're going to be fishing the lower part, mainly targeting northerns today. Um, as you saw. Zach and Ryan the other day they caught a couple of little small snakes um, but with this early ice it's hit or miss it can be really good or it could be really bad we've had some fishermen out here uh, recently coming out to this lake not as much traffic as you normally would see towards towards into January maybe into February this lake gets packed you can't it's you're almost like butting up next to other people and your your tip-ups are intertwined so if you catch a fish you catch a fish so later in the season this isn't a good lake to go to but early season this is a great lake to go to so without further ado i'm going to get out and get all my stuff situated uh, i'm going to wait for zach to get here and we're going to get back out there so it'll be me zach and my buddy nate and we're going to try it out see if we can't get any fish hopefully some big ones but we'll see we're, no, we're almost guaranteed to catch one fish here uh, we've always gotten fish here and we know this lake really well we got a good decent spot so we're going to head out there we're going to get set up and hopefully those flags start flying. All right, before I get on out and hop out and start going through all my gear and getting it all ready to go out on the ice, uh, drop a comment down below. What do you guys like to use? Do you guys like to use shiners? Do you guys like to use chubs? Um, what's your favorite kind of bait to use? Tip-ups or jigging? Let us know. Um, kind of curious to see what you guys use in other parts of uh, the country here and what you use for ice fishing. So we're in our spot out on the lake here. We're gonna be taking the sled out and get some holes drilled. Um, sun has just went behind the clouds, so we're a little late to the game here, but we're gonna we're gonna drop some holes and drop some fish hopefully. Right, Gibby? Yeah. insulating the warm water all right so we just got finally all set up we got all our tip-ups in the water nate's going to do a little jigging over here try and pick up a couple pan fish if we can got the gopro on gibby over here is eating his donut it's morning time so you got to wake up um we haven't had a bite yet but we've only been out here for about an hour so uh, we just finished up so i'm hoping soon we might get a bite we just got a tip up over here uh First one of the day, Gibby's gonna come up here and take it. Looks good, looks good. Headed that way. That's the 
he got he's he's going that direction. Uh, it got stuck. I think it dropped it. Yeah, I think it did. Took out quite a bit of line. Yeah, he dropped it. Oh. Took it through the weeds though. Through the weeds. Well, hopefully that's a good sign. Just after nine o'clock. All right, so we got a tip up here. I'm gonna head over and check it out. It was. I think it still is. It's still going that direction. Strongly recommend hole covers. Uh, the ice starts to freeze up around the tip up and makes it hard to move without them knowing. So. It was. Nice little guy. He's flying out of the ice. <laughs> Small, Small little guy. Fish. Nothing crazy, but it's oh. only the start of the day. It's our second flag, so at least we got a fish down. I said we'd get at least one. Gonna get a nice release on this little guy. Out of this guy here, he's ready to go. Real slimy. There he goes. Nice. Let's get some more. Nate's been uh, face down on the ice now for probably a good solid five minutes. Do you think we should go check on him? I don't know. He seems seems content. <laughs> well, that really unless, unless he's holding his head underwater, but <laughs> <laughs> Nate. <laughs> It's like clean minnow is his own. Really? Yeah. Look at him. He's taking it. Uh, he's a tiny guy. He's bobbing his head, it's a bass. Oh! I felt his head, his head flip. Tuck him in here. Get that hook out of him. That's a nice bass, that ain't bad for here. He's a nice little guy. Nice little guy, probably. Should we get a measurement on him? Not bad, not bad. We've been real slow, haven't got a fish in quite a while, so we're gonna get him back in the water and We'll see. We're going to start packing up here, I think. Uh, it's been real slow, so it's a good, good end to our day. There you go. Ready to go. Perfect. And my hands are frozen. Alrighty. Well, that's going to do it for this video. Uh, we were just packing up and caught another fish. Um, as you saw there that nice 16 inch bass and that was the two fish we caught today as you can see my face is pretty wind burned There was a good steady wind that picked up uh, We didn't have too much of a wind right away in the morning So it was real real pleasant and then uh, all of a sudden out of nowhere the wind started to pick up um, We do have a front coming in so that does make sense, but this kind of Makes my face a little warm now, so I'm gonna head home maybe relax a little and uh, wait till the snow comes. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please uh, drop a like and uh, subscribe for more. We got some more ice fishing videos coming out. Uh, we plan to do a couple other cool things here. So uh, we hope you guys stick around with us and we appreciate the support. See you next time.